Hey, welcome back everybody, Pack Opening Addict. So today we're going to have Zendikar Rising Battle number two. So for those that aren't familiar with battles, um, this is going to be a casting cost battle. So whoever has the highest amount of casting cost among all of their rares and mythics wins a box stopper. And whoever has the lowest amount of casting cost among rares and mythics also wins a box stopper. Everybody gets four packs. Those are theirs. Regardless what happens in the battle, those four packs do belong to them. So, put the box stoppers here on the side, pull out some packs. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. Okay, yeah, looks good. Okay. Oh, so, on the top. Okay. So, let me divvy these out. Sorry, apologize. If I can do math, it's three packs. <clears throat> Apparently I can't do math, which is a bad sign heading into a battle, but we'll make it work. Okay, three packs per person. So John, you are up first. So we'll kind of do the two packs per person. Then we'll do our, an overview of where we are at heading into the last pack for each. So first we're going to have some commons. We'll just kind of slow down with the uncommons. All right. So first, John, we've got the Roiling Vortex for a two. Maddening Cacophony for another two. The Baloth, Felidar, and Pathway. Branchloff Pathway into the Boulderloff Pathway. So our first pathway of the video. Scythe Cat. Oh, ho, ho, the currently at the date of filming Spiking Spire Garden for our first, um, <clears throat> sorry, for our first expedition of the box. John, nice pull. And as I say that, you only had a four in the first pack. A four. I see you are going for the low spot here. Um, before I get too far here, go ahead and sleeve that up. There you go. Okay. All right. So let's get into pack number two for John. Okay. All right, on to inversion. So that is the other way around. So that's an eight to start. Kazandu Mammoths, you're at 11. Dreadworm, Canopy Belloth. Kazandu Mammoth again, so you're at a 14. Jerboa, and Akiri, okay? So that is a 17 in that pack. Sheesh. Well, that four is still a heck of a start when it comes to trying to go for a low. Um, that 17 caught you back up to the rest of the pack. Uh, geez, I can't slide that card. Okay, there we go. All right, Clay, you are up next. All right. All right, Luminarch Aspirant. Card I'm glad is finally starting to get some love. Zagras, so you are at eight so far. Side catch, Legek, Lotus Cobra in the showcase. You got a 10. And Agadim's Awakening extended our foil. Woohoo! Woo! So then we get the Under Crypt, but of course that counts for zero on that side. And this side counts for a three. So you're at a 13 to start, good sir. All right, let me just make sure that is correct. That is correct, okay. So 13, all right, pack number two. Hey, now here he's lithoforming because X counts for zero in this type of battle. So that's two. Ooh, Skyclave Apparition. So that's a five in total. Nectar Pot. Nissa. So now you're at nine. So we got the awesome borderless Nissa. And Inscription of Abundance, Extended Art Foil. So that is an 11. Okay. Well, at least you got uh, Nissa and Skyclave Apparition out of that pack, so not a terrible pack for not getting a huge hit. But Joshua, 
You are up next, sir. All right, you're going to start with the Myriad Construct. That is going to be a four. Yasharn, so it's another four, so you got an eight. Squid. Pickaxe. Ooh, Needle Verge Pathway. Okay. Pillar Verge. Foil Ruin, Ruin Crab. That's cool. And Wayward Guide Beast. Well, that puts you at a nine in the first pack there, which is pretty, pretty low to start there. Not a spicy pack, but at least you got a pathway out of it. All right, second pack for Joshua. Scourge of the Skyclaves. Nice, solid pull right there. So that's a, that's a uh, two to start out of that one. Nice pull. The Charger. So that's another five. So that's, a, so that's five in total, sorry. Pylath. Okay, so that's going to put you at an 11. Pylath, what you want to see if you're going for the high. And on to Inversion for another eight. So this time in the Extended Art Foil. So what do you have here? Do you have a do you have a 19? You have a 19. All right. Well, that's one way you get in the uh you know what? I'm gonna put the scourge of the sky cleave. That's how you get in the high spot. All right, Dave. Let's see what you got. Come on, open up. Thank you. <clears throat> Sharks, the Mad Crab. Oh, sweet, Omnath. Omnath in the pack foil. Okay, that's a, that's a nice hit right there, Dave. All right, so that's eight so far. Dreadworm, Jerboa, Scootswarm, always a good card. So that's an 11 so far. Pickaxe and Nahiri in the Borderless foil. So that is a 15 to start for you, sir. Yeah, let me put Om uh, um, Nom, Om Nom 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 at the top there. Okay, Dave, second one. Okay. Swarm Shambler with a low one. Scooter Swarm again, this time in the traditional artwork foil. So that puts you at a four. Nahiri again. Well, you got all the Nahiris. So that's eight. And Myriad Construct. That was a, well, you got Scooter Swarm. But otherwise, that was kind of a poor pack. Sorry about that. Not that it, anyway. So is that a 12? Is that what I'm seeing there? That is a 12. That is where we got. All right. So we are done with the first round. So, so far, you've got John, who's currently residing in the slow spot at a low spot ah, at a 21. Clay's at a 24. Joshua's currently in the high spot at 28. And Dave's at a 27. All right, John, let's open up your last pack. Let's see what we got. Okay. Whoa, that is beef. Okay. So John just all of a sudden starting with a seven. And then a nimble trap finder to go to a nine. The McKindy ox. The nectar pot. Crab crown pathway. Okay. Still at a nine. Dread worm and master of winds. So that puts you at a 13. Out of that pack. So you're at a 34 in total. All right, Clay, you are up next. You're kind of in that middle area right now. You could get the high, you could get the low. Let's see where this pack's gonna take you here. Kaza, Royal Chaser. That's two. Tajuru Paragon, that's another two. So you're at uh, four. Hellhound, Brushfire Elemental, Feldar Retreat, so that's an eight. And, oh, 
Okay, not the foil you're looking to pull, but still cool nonetheless. Um, creeping Tar Pit. And that puts your pack at an eight. And that puts you right now directly in the low spot. Well, well, yeah, while creep, you know, Creeping Tar Pit isn't the massive hit, that is still, like, it's still an awesome card, and that still is awesome treatment. In fact, it still deserves to go on the top over Agadeems. Okay, well, Clay found a uh, expedition number two. All right, Josh, Joshua, let's see what you got. At this point, I would find it very difficult for anybody to take out Clay for the low. But it is entirely possible. Coveted prize? Well, it's no longer possible for Joshua. So that's a five. Throwing a McKindy. Oof. Okay. Kindy Ox. Fledgling. Pathway. My favorite of the pathways. Second favorite. Clear, clear water pathways. You're still at a five in this one. Spitfire and Scoot Swarm. It's uh it's actually rare to find these in the in the foil showcase. It's actually a, a solid hit right there, sir. Okay. So what do you have? You had an eight? You had an eight. Okay. Alright. So going into the last pack, we had John at a 34. So he's out of any additional topper. Clay's at a 32 and is pretty solid looking like he's gonna get the low. Joshua's at a 36, which could be the high. But currently, Dave's at a 27 heading into his last pack. So let's see what we got for Dave. Zeret Sam. Well, uh, it's very clear you are going for the high, and uh, that's a way to start for that. So that's a five. Skyclave Relic. Solid, solid. So that puts you at eight. Pickaxe. Elemental. Shade, so that's the 10. Legac, and ooh, foil branch loft pathway. That's pretty nice. That's gorgeous. Okay. Well, that puts you at a 10 in that pack. And that puts you at a 37, edging out Josh by one. All right. <clears throat> so we got our winners in the low spot. We got Clay, and in the high spot, we got Dave. So let's see what Clay pulls out. Again, I've said this a million times, but I hate these little packs because I always feel like I'm going to bend things and I don't want to bend the card. Except I could shred it at the top there. Oh, I hope this is entertaining for somebody. It's not for me. Okay. Come on, come on out. Thank you. All right, Clay, topper. Celestial Colonnade. Uh, I guess you want all the man lands. So you got the best of the man lands. That's a cool pull. Okay. And Dave, the last topper. Okay. That one opened a lot easier. All right. And Sea Chrome Coast, which I think that thing's still up at like 25, 30 bucks right now because all these spiked like crazy. That's a good hit. All right. Well, that is uh, that's a battle. Uh, I want to say, actually, in this particular battle, it's almost a bit of a congratulations to everybody. Everybody got a little something. Um, so that's always kind of fun to see. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment. You guys know the drill. Thank you to all the participants in the battle. This was a good time. Thanks for watching. Bye.